two years after Yud Shvat. Mishpinchas Katz was getting good, whatever he was. He didn't have so much excitement about the Maimut because it was going upstairs. And uh, so whatever. So the Rebbe was urging him to get involved in Maimut again. And he, I don't know if he said or if he just kind of showed that it wasn't something he was so excited about anymore because of where it was going. How he, so the Rebbe told him, I'm sure will correct me, was Ardir Reis Halten dem Schwer Ois Halten what does it hurt you to help my father-in-law to maintain the conditions of his merit, marital contract? So as Hanshol pointed out, when you look in the Rabbim, you look there in the facetious, there's no such concept after a person passes away that you have to go make a living for a person who's no longer living. There's an estate, yeah, the estate, yeah, that, that's a certain amount of that, that's it, it is what it is. But to bring in more funds? So, as Hanshol was pointing out to me, the Rebbe said a lot of things after Yud Shvat. The tour Hergish. When the Rebbe left, that was Hergish. Halacha is Halacha, is Kaddish, all of them. But this is one thing that's in the realm of Halacha, Tanoyak Suba. It's not a Hergish. Tanoyak Suba, to refer to that as Tanoyak Suba, which is applicable only to a living person. You want to ask about Maimut after Gimel Tammuz, there's your answer. 